going on guys? My name is Robin back again from Moment of Views here with another episode reaction to The Rise of the Shield here, episode 16, Philolial Queen. Now last episode, I know a lot of people were actually very disappointed in it, and it was by far to me the weakest episode of the show because of a cliche line that they used in the very beginning of the show of the episode, and I, I talked about it a little bit in length last episode, but if you guys uh, don't recall, basically last episode with Ralph Talia had um, Edel, and that's I, I figured that that's how it's actually pronounced after I watched the English dub of it with my roommate, um, or Raber, or Riber, one of those, uh, but Edel, um, when Ralph Talia had uh, Edel basically at knife point, or sword point in this case, she had the decision to kill him, but she used the horribly cliche line of "If I kill you, I'm not. I'm I'm just as bad as you." But they don't realize, and that uh, I was actually talking to one of my coworkers about this. But the moment that happens, the moment that they say that, it kind of disingenuous. Uh, it, it makes it disingenuous almost to a point, to a fault, because if you think about it, you can basically say that if she were to kill. Um, idol or idol, sorry. Then basically, that could be actually saving lives as a result. It's kind of like how in war you fight your enemy to protect your own. It's kind of the same thing in a sense. In this case, she would kill him to prevent more people from being harmed. But I think in her mindset, she probably could have used the mindset of, "Hey, maybe now that I let him live, he's gonna sorrow for the rest of his life." But people don't normally do that. Someone who's despicable enough to torture people and to keep them locked up and everything like that, they're most likely not going to just get kicked while they're down and then just stay on the ground groveling. No, no, they're going to go get even more rambunctious. They're going to get more angry. They're going to get more prejudi prejudice um, and vindictive in a way. So that was the one thing that I probably had the most problem with of the last episode. And also, I found out, like, later on, after I watched the episode, that I would have preferred, is in the manga, and I believe the light novel, and I'm entirely sure, don't quote me on that one, but Rybar, or Edol, fell out the window after being stabbed, not only with the mana sword, but also... Raftali stabbed him in the shoulder. Now, I, I, I just need to picture out, I don't know the context really behind it, I don't know, like, maybe... Edo pulled out a dagger or pulled out that whip and she would defend herself by stabbing him in the in the shoulder and pushed him out the window. Uh, whether or not it was due to murderous intent, I don't know. Like I said, haven't read the context, but I felt like that would have been more of a significant uh, and more significant in that way. Uh, but yeah. I'm ready to jump into this episode, yeah, because it ended off very, <laughs> very odd, where I couldn't actually really understand what the fuck just happened. Yeah, he just summoned a giant T-Rex. I mean, okay, sure, let's see how this goes. Alright guys, without further ado, let's jump in to Rise of the Shield here, episode 16. I did lower the actual, um, the opacity, so hopefully it's a little bit better. Um, when I was re-watching one of my reactions, I did realize that it was really dark in spots, and... As long as I basically have my logo here, it pretty is it's pretty good. The black screen does a good job at blocking copyright and the logos are just for insurance just in case. But anyways, I'm ready to jump into this episode, so guys, without further ado, let's jump in to episode 16 of The Rise of the Shield Hero, starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. And of course, I hopefully it's loud enough so you guys can pick it up from my headphones just slightly. I forgot to get water. We have Jurassic World in this bitch. And I'm assuming this is the full little queen. Oh, so there's a next one. So it's almost like a hierarchy system in a, in a sense. Well, kind of. And then, okay, the intro. Interesting. Because I know a lot of people were even claiming that, oh, that she's like a, she's, she's a very, very special kind of Fololeo queen because she can talk, and, or Fololeo because she can talk, Philo. I don't really remember if they actually classified it as she was like a queen, and then there she is in the intro. And she has short hair, and that's 
already plus in my book because um, Girls Your Short Air is a big plus for me. If done, yeah, Girls with Short Air just in general, especially in the anime, it just looks good. I still think the visuals are like looking at it more. I think that I like the visuals a lot more in the second opening, but I like the music more in the first opening. So I'm looking at that now. It looks like that's the um, airstrike shield. What he's holding up. We got Zilla in this. The CG is a little off-putting, but it's nothing too terrible. I've seen a lot worse, trust me. Well, if you killed him, like I would have felt like would have been better. Here's Johnny. <laughs> and then I forgot that they had also grabbed the um, prisoners. Hey, Fila, last time you fought against a monster, you got eight, and I and I and I slightly died a little on the inside for that moment. She also doesn't have her claws on from what I from what was shown to her talents. Oh, the um the stone. So she has one of those um uh, that that T Rex thing has one of those like stones in it or where shards. You become beautiful. Oh. Are you gonna marry him? Still fighting. She actually gave up her bracelet. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, get out the way, people! <laughs> that also shows just how much...
Kiel means to her, if you think about it. She's willing to give up so something of someone she loves. She's willing to give up the thing that someone that she loves gave to her. Because she also cares for him in a very similar vein. Gonna drop into a cliff. Now they can fight. Okay. In front of a lake almost, what it looks like. It's a strong ass shield, not gonna lie. Oh, but he was still able to crack through it. I wonder if there's a reason why she doesn't have her claws. Maybe she just. From what I can remember, just. Yeah, that didn't seem to be very effective whatsoever. I should probably have to use the mana. Maybe the mana sword? Because it's not a physical blade. It's like a giant tank. Maybe they had to... Well, if you realize, the belly... The belly... Philo was actually able to kick it and it made an indentation. So, that's probably... It's probably completely armored on, t on the top. The skin is basically an armored... So the only way you'd be able to kill it is stabbing it through the belly or maybe where that shard is. Don't don't lose your focus. Fog. Oh, it's a feel. The queen's coming. It's a lot of velos. And they're skinny. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Philo. Don't, don't, don't kick me in the nuts. A bunch of birds versus another bird. If you think about it. Hmm. So I can't even try. So the queen actually told him, basically said no. Because I couldn't tell who that voice was. Oh, is this her philo form? It's a big bird! Pretty sure it's not opening. Pretty sure not open to reason. She's just gonna swat it away, huh?
I was slightly, uh, slightly strong. And here I, th I was making a, a whole game plan on how they could beat him. I had a whole game plan on how they could probably beat it, but nah, the full, full the queen was just like, hold my feathers. <laughs> Victoria. Let me guess. She looks young, but she's hundreds of years old. She is the same one. <laughs> so what you're saying is she's legal. She's sizing her up almost in a way. Damn, living in luxury on that. I mean, it's usually give and take effect. Yeah, I don't want to contaminate a lake. Did she just freaking instant transmort transmort <laughs> transmutation? <laughs> I'm guessing this is a hmm. <laughs> fucking Philo. Almost like a guardian of it. <laughs> of course. It's even a little bit of a, sm a smile on that. They're making the food out of the freaking... Why would you take the bones out? It's 
So they're all hungry themselves, too. The Philolials. <laughs> I'm glad I'm the only one who thought KFC. She does, um, heel toe, heel toe. She's special. Mm. Not gonna lie, like, I really like her design. They're willing to talk it out. Oh. So she's also being a voice of reason because, like, she she she's also coming from a maturity kind of viewpoint. All over. And that and this backs up my idea that there is multiple heroes for each. Probably should just use that as a defense mechanism to say that. I mean, you're only one person. Her time's running up. Alright, so that's the shield and sword heroes. So they're investigating. Because I saw the three towers and I thought that might have been... That might have been, like, the three... Three towers, three church. Three houses of church. Totally lost it. Forgot the name. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I'm guessing she had to 
squabble something like that, or that happened with her hero. I have to beat you up. Mm. So yeah, it's it's make me guess. I should fight the heroes. To get new heroes. That's... Okay, it's slightly extreme thinking. Because, no, no, okay, so she wants to... Okay. So she wants to kill the heroes because they're fighting, so... If we kill them all, we can get new ones. That's probably what a lot of people are going to be thinking. But my theory is... She's going to back them into a wall to force them to fight together and be like, Oh, by the way, just kidding... Now you're all fighting together for the same cause. It's not that hard now, is it? Because, like I said, I have a feeling this this has happened before. She was even saying that my memory of it isn't as clear as it was. Because surely they probably would have heard stories like if a queen just killed a bunch of heroes. <coughs> surely. So I'm guessing in her, she's saying in my mind, in her mind. The heroes that the hero that raised her was probably like now Fumi, where he was the um, he or she was the one who was shunned out, and they all fought amongst each other. So she's basically trying the hardest to prevent that from happening again. So she's gonna back them into a corner to force them to fight. Basically, that's my theory. Like I said, com could be completely wrong. We'll see what happens. So I'm usually good at picking up these things. So we'll see. Let's see what the let's see what the next episode is though. Episode title. A Promise Made, episode 17. If you think about it, we only have eight more episodes. Interesting. Interesting. Which is weird. That means we are we have gone through a fourth of the season already. We've been it's already been a month of the season. Interesting. By the way, I'm gonna be doing another video. I'm gonna go sp I'm gonna go take a, um, a, a well, not a really break. I'm gonna go postpone one video for tomorrow, um, which is probably gonna be Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer is gonna be pushed back. I'm gonna go watch Benkyo, or we never learn. Um, but then I also want to talk about Persona 5R. In fact, I'm probably gonna go talk about that next. So yeah, I'm gonna go talk about Persona 5R. Um, I mean, I'm even wearing my hold up hold up shirt because I'm a Persona fan, and also my other clothes are kind of dirty and I need to do a load of laundry which is being in the wash right now so but yeah it just happened to work out <laughs> but yeah anyways guys uh what do you guys think about this episode what do you guys think about my theory because I have a feeling that is the um that is the ultimate ultimate goal is she's gonna fight make them basically f fight a common enemy to survive in a sense that's my theory but only don't like don't confirm it if you are a light novel or a mon or a manga reader like don't confirm that um but for people who are anime only guys like me what are your thoughts on the whole situation or maybe she just wants to do the whole hey let's kill them and send new people but like i said that kind of mentality i kind of feel cuz she also cuz think about it if you think about it when she said that she was also using the whole my memory has faded and that would tie in, like, if she would say that my memory is faded about the whole situation and then immediately talks about the killing of the killing the four heroes, that it's basically saying that she killed heroes before. But, like I said, I don't think that's the case because I think that memory she's recalling is the whole uh, is her hero being uh, shunned from the group and kind of having to force to fight for themselves. So, and basically she sees now Fumi being that exact mantle. And she doesn't want that to happen. That's my that's my theory. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, but anyways, guys, I am going to probably talk about Persona 5 R in a second. Um, I'm going to go re-watch the trailer because I watched it live. Um, I'll talk more about that during the actual video. But like I said, I know it's not anime related, but it's something that it's special to me. So... That's all that matters. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.